what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology it's a beautiful morning here and i thought of making a video on the gita today if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it because today's video is on the best of the best of the best the most illustrious the most handsome man to ever lived on earth it is arjuna himself all right and if you want a consultation then please approach me in my website below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments or if you have any other questions regarding this video or the gita series which i have made then also let me know all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and before we begin on the Gita, I have to make prayers to my Gurus who have bestowed me this divine wisdom without which I would be suffering in a gutter somewhere right now. <laughs> Om Agyan Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Okay, so many a times this question is asked that what's the greatness of this personality Arjun although there are people like Yudhishthir Maharaj I recently made a video on how to identify the Yudhishthir inside us and improve that voice which is there inside us yes so if you have not watched about Yudhishthir Maharaj then please go and watch it it's there in this playlist but Yudhishthir Maharaj is great at the same time there's Arjuna also Arjuna is the third son of Pandu, the eldest is Yudhishthir, then Bhima, then Arjuna, then Nakul, then Sahdev. But this personality was the son of Indra because Kunti had begotten these children from the demigods because Pandu got a curse that the moment he unites with any woman, he will die. So Kunti did not uh, unite with Pandu, but uh, through a process of the Vedic scriptures called as Niyoga where the wife is allowed to unite with some great personality just to beget children not for some sensual mundane enjoyment like in Kali Yuga. So Kunti had got a mantra from Durvasa Muni by which she could invoke the presence of any demigod any devata and by that uh, she told this to Pandu and then Pandu said wonderful then let's call uh, Yamaraj first of all. So when they invited Yamaraj, then the son who was born from the union of Kunti and Yamaraj was Yudhishthir himself. Then they invited Pavan, Pavan Devta, and then Bhima was born, and then they invited Indra. Indra is the king of the demigods. He's the most illustrious, most rich, most powerful, most valorous, most beautiful. <laughs> and then Arjuna was born from them. And then Madri was also given this mantra by Kunti because she also wanted children and then she thought let me invite the Ashwini Kumaras because they are twins so in one shot I'll get two that's it then what happened because Arjuna was the son of Indra yes and Indra is the best of the demigods so among the Pandavas also he was the best all right best means he was the most respectful he was the most powerful warrior among all the five. And the beauty about Arjuna is he was excellent in everything. He is known as Falguni. Falguni means, there are many meanings of the word Falguni. One of the other meanings it is one who is perfect. He is a perfectionist. Everything he does is with proper precision. It's like eye to eye as they say. Yeah. And Arjuna demonstrates this time and again in the Kurukshetra war and throughout his life also when Dronacharya had asked all the Kurus and Pandavas in their Gurukul when they were young taking training from Dronacharya Dronacharya had asked everybody he had put a test where he had put a board and then he had asked everybody what do you see what do you see what do you see then Yudhishthi said oh I see so many things Duryodhana said I don't see anything Bhima said I see the fruit but Arjuna said I see the eye of the bird and Dronacharya said yes you can become an archer shoot and he hit the target and it directly pierced the eye of the bird of course that was a dummy bird it was not a real bird okay 
so these things are there and he was extremely handsome he was extremely masculine he was very powerful he was tall he was having that grave personality you know very masculine personality that which attracts any female helplessly <laughs> but these are not what are the main reasons for which he is known these are all secondary and well of course he was an unparalleled archer there was nobody better or what to speak of being better even equal also to him in the kurukshetra war all all right although yes bhishma and drona were there they were his superiors and they were much more experienced than him but arjuna was very powerful also because he had these divine weapons which he had got from the demigods and from lord shiva also these things are there but that's not what makes him stand out from everybody what is one trait which arjuna had which made him stand out from everybody yes and this is very important for us to learn because we also may be like arjuna in some area because he had learned from the gandharvas how to sing and dance he was a perfect singer he was a perfect dancer he was a perfect archer he was a perfect logician he was the perfectly handsome man available he was perfect in everything all right but we also may be like him that we may be a expert singer or we may be expert in this or we may be very handsome we may be like this we may be like that but are those the traits which will make us great no not necessarily <coughs> because there may be many other people <coughs> who have these traits like us yes so <coughs> having these material traits does not make us very great because there will always be somebody else who has these traits but what was one thing which arjuna had which puts him in such a place where nobody can even think of reaching yes he was the greatest 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 person who used to admire lord krishna his admiration for lord krishna was the greatest there was no body parallel to him no body in fact <coughs> once during the kurukshetra war there's a situation where everybody goes to lord krishna and asks why do you love arjuna so much i mean they didn't ask out of envy or out of jealousy but they were just curious what's so special about this person we also want to know his greatness please tell us then lord krishna said come with me i'll tell you <laughs> and then arjuna was sleeping and then the pandavas and all these people who had asked this question they went along with lord krishna near where arjuna was sleeping and then when arjuna was sleeping lord krishna said come near and then when they went near to arjuna's body every cell every atom every proton every nucleus <laughs> every bit of his body was chanting loudly krishna 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 so that means he was so much absorbed in lord krishna that every particle every dust of his body was reverberating this holy name of god and when all these people heard they said yes arjuna is the greatest that makes him stand out from everybody now there is nobody like him and he was the best friend of lord krishna yes and lord krishna was also his best friend <laughs> and he could never tolerate anything which anybody could would speak against lord krishna and he would do anything to protect lord krishna's honor to protect uh, lord krishna's name to protect krishna's dignity and he was like a he was like a wall who which would appear when anybody would say anything about against lord krishna yes there were some people like shishupal and dantvakra who used to sometimes criticize lord krishna because they were demons of course that's the trait of demons they criticize god even today we see there are many people who are big big economists who are big big writers but they will insult god openly in the forums so these people represent shishupal they represent dantvakra all right so the today's topic is on arjuna so that's his greatest 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 quality that he was lord krishna's biggest devotee he was like nobody else 
there are many all 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 the people are there in the kurukshetra but there is nobody like him and he was so great that krishna chose him to be recipient of the bhagavad gita krishna could have chosen anybody yudhishthir bhim or nakul sahadev people say oh arjuna went uh, underwent a breakdown no, that's all nonsense that is just lord krishna is doing leela to teach us what is the gita so lord krishna loved arjuna so much that he said to arjuna that i will become your charioteer your sarathi i will drive your chariot and i will not let your mind get astray and get bewildered and go here there no. so and time and again when arjuna's life is in danger lord krishna tries to save him and because krishna is god himself so nobody can uh, stop him from saving arjuna yes when in the kurukshetra war when the warrior from the side of the kurus bhagadatta when he uses the vaishnavastra on arjuna then lord krishna takes that weapon on himself and arjuna is saved <laughs> so lord krishna is so eager to save arjuna that he always does it at any means by any costs yes and that shows how great arjuna was so the lesson that we need to learn from here is we may have the great qualities like arjuna had like beauty name fame power post position personality we may have all those things but do we have attraction for god if no then we are not that great <laughs> but if we do not have anything but we have that which arjuna had you know the main thing which arjuna had his attraction for god then we are like arjuna even if we do not have the material opulences the material traits the material qualifications all right so that is what i wanted to say here that it doesn't matter what you have materially or you don't if you have that you have everything if you do not have that and you have everything else then i'm sorry we do not have anything all right so the lesson is we have to cultivate spiritual wisdom spiritual knowledge by which we can also become like him all right and then irrespective of the things that we have in this world or we don't have we will be living a life living a legacy or leaving behind a legacy like he did yes and his son abhimanyu my god such powerful and his grandson also parikshit maharaj he ruled the entire world great kings from great people you see so that is what i wanted to say if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation then please approach me in my mail or in my website or in my whatsapp everything is there below all right that is it from my side if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments okay until next time wish you good luck in becoming like arjuna okay see you bye bye